Okay, so here we are with the uh, Arduino PWM test. Uh, it's a pretty uh, beautiful library I just found from uh, the internet after uh, searching for a long time. And uh, the pin 11 is not working, so I use pin 9, and that's perfectly working, whatever. Uh, I have set it for 20 kilohertz. Actually, that is the reason I was looking for this because I was actually looking for a very high frequency then the initially duty is zero and uh, serial I just used because uh, I need to change it on the fly okay and uh, then I will take the duty and I will change it whatever so let's uh, okay for sure here is the Arduino uh, LED is nothing is just for the fancy display and uh, the oscilloscope here so that I can check uh, what's coming in okay let's set up the ground so we need to set the ground let's say it in uh, here in the very center position and uh, putting it in AC and DC doesn't matter but uh, as PWM will uh, be from the reference 0 to the positive 5 volt so I prefer to use the DC part and the uh, voltage is set for uh, 2 volt instead of the 5 volt the reason is because of this uh, LED it makes a voltage drop that doesn't matter and uh, let's change the timing for now coupling is auto with the channel 1 because we'll, we'll only use that and uh, let's upload it to the Arduino see it's uploading yeah, done so now it should give something but it's not giving because we need to give an input okay so that's zero is the zero duty cycle so nothing is coming out let me move the intensity more higher so nothing is coming out then let me put a 10 so some things coming out and see the uh, LED brightness is changing like if I give it to 90% only 1% uh, then 10% uh, so that's working somehow even if it is uh, say 1% and giving LED is not blinking but it's moving let's change the time frame in here so it's getting stable Whatever I do, it's in one person. It's very, uh, very small. So let's make it ten percent. And uh, here is something. Very hard to catch up. It's very high frequency in here. So normally as I have set it for uh, 20 kilohertz, so the timing I just made for the uh, 5 microseconds because that's how it should work. Okay, let's change it from 10 to 20. Now it's a little bit working, let's say uh, 30. Okay. 50 okay and what comes to the 40 yeah now it is making some sense 35 okay so we will start from 40 see it's uh, 40 I'm giving as the input 
the LED is at 40 okay just for a show this now is the 10 percent and here is the 40 and if I make it now 50 small brightness increased so that's what is the 50 percent and uh, if we set it up for like okay so when we make it 100 that's 100 percent and for a demonstration let me show you once uh, the LED here and 100 percent the full brightness ah, brightness is increased so 100 percent means no pulse width the everything 99 percent okay so 99 percent it's so one person it's not actually giving anything 98 still it's not giving anything because it's very small sharp in there let's make it 90 so now we can see okay the 95 you say uh, so just for the small tune up if we say uh, here is the whole part so that's the beginning part ah so sorry uh, here is the uh, whole part and uh, that's the beginning part increase this little spike so this uh, one division and uh, the time division it says that uh, 5 microsecond per division so 5 microsecond is most uh, I need to make the calculations whatever so you do your maths I believe you are very good in maths uh, now let's change it for 50 percent Something is wrong. I think it's just the I believe uh, trigger problem. Ah, yeah, it's the uh, trigger problem. My device is having some trouble. Ah, you see. now is working the trigger problem okay so uh, as you can see that uh, curving starting in here then coming down 50 50 so it's a uh, this uh, it's this part is a full one uh, let me use the this uh, this is a full cycle in here and it's the 50 percent of it so when i will make it say uh, 95 as you can see now it's changed it's changed uh, from here to there and a small just notch or uh, the other way if i say the rest five percent uh -huh. Ah, the trigger problem again. So that's the small notch that starting five percent, only five percent of pulse width, and the rest is off. Okay. So uh, again, if we come to fifty-fifty, so that's a uh, pretty good uh, frequency is in here coming in down so though it's a full cycle but for PWM it's this so if I need say it's uh, 
five microseconds so around uh, pretty very uh, high frequency is in here but if I need more so I can just make it a uh, 50 50 to create a square wave and then the frequency actual frequency is up to here but then the frequency will be in here yeah uh, am I saying something wrong no yeah so uh, that's the frequency it's one pulse then the next pulse in generally what we know is it's this and that but for PWM it's one pulse then the next pulse and every pulse is a frequency not from this place to coming in that place and then coming to that place not like that so this one and this one doesn't make the one frequency for this case this makes this one frequency that one frequency so if you really need something like a uh, very high frequency is in here so that will help but don't mix up like uh, this one then that one uh, don't mix it up like that it's not a full wave rectification that it's a half wave in here and the half wave in here so total frequency is in here no this is one whole frequency uh, you just have to play with the uh, duty cycle of the whole part uh, which should have how much and the other way should have how much so 50 50 makes it very uh, pretty easy to understand and uh, yeah, that's all that's beautiful that's what i was looking for if i if i if i if i, if I, if I change the frequency say uh, 20,000 so 20 kilohertz to 500 kilohertz the uh, that goes to the radio region basically uh, okay so let's see if my LED can survive with that 50% at 50 kilohertz oh my good and that's the 50 kilohertz look at here ah, that's 50 kilohertz means uh what to say point point two microseconds oops let's make it an easy it's a couple there is a pulse width so if I use it for a radio frequency, uh, maybe uh, a 50 kilohertz carrier, then it will be a. I need to do the pulse amplitude modulation or something like that. But whatever it is, this makes some sense. <laughs> okay. So 50k. But I don't need 50k. I actually need 200k. So again, let's recompile it. I need to make some way so that uh, I can just do the entries. Whatever. Compilation done. Okay. So that's exactly what I was looking for. The beauty of PWM Okay, let me show you the very last thing in here. Ah ha ha uh, the zero reference has been changed. We change it the Small density, let's calibrate it first. Okay, now. Uh -huh. If I do it in the XY positions. Uh -huh. <laughs> I really love these cards. Okay, let's play. It's a uh, 10 percent it's coming in okay and uh, 100 percent that's going in there 
only 5% that's creating this so origin and uh, so mostly is in the origin and that's a uh, small part is in there so mostly is in origin it's uh, cycling and small part let's go for 50 oops index y mode 95 oops just because mostly in the upper space and very small in the lower space so very small dot in the lower but very high intensity in the upper space uh, then uh, it's, it was 95 yeah. then if I make it 100 then the whole thing is in the up just because nothing is in the zero line, everything is in up. If I make it AC, AC coupling, what happens? Let's see, 50%. Oh, you say AC coupling and DC coupling is nothing, just shifting it up and there. So that's kind of interesting. 90% is now, and uh, only 5% is now again. Yeah. If I give it one percent, that's one, two, nothing happened, three. Uh, so the game starts from three. Okay. It's about it's a very old one, so you have to understand. It's gone. Goodness. Uh, if we reset in ah no, sorry, it's in uh three percent, so it starts from here sharply it starts from here. So again, 97% uh, because the other parts, so that's it, ah, and 50, so that's the uh, beautiful curve in here, so it needs some coupling so that there's a spike and then coming down, probably if I just remove this my oscilloscope is really very old you see now voltage is at 5 volt per division setup and it's coming this way okay. let's first remove this stupid LED from here and uh, connect it also in here now that's the spikes because it's pushing a lot of current and then it's working in this way okay oh my goodness Alright, so uh, there is a register network in here. Oh my god, it's very hard. It's a one k register in here, so let's connect it in the 1k, 1k in series. So I think that will be a good one to make another check. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. And uh, connecting here. Okay. So it's 
it's just for no reason and now it is the same thing almost uh, as you can see yeah camera for passing target and those small spikes are also there just because the uh, LED that draws a lot of current more than the uh, uh, the registers so if we uh, connect the LED again in here let's say uh, that and this I believe that will be much more better than the uh, other way plug it in here and plug it in there now see uh, still one way but the other way is not yeah. because when it's coming down it doesn't go to the negative part because LED is really taking a lot of current. So this could be good if we could make it an AC and feed it to the LED. So it would work as a diode and uh, it would be something more interesting, whatever. But uh, it's nice. The thing that I was looking for. So my really thanks to that small guy who made this beautiful uh, the uh, who made this beautiful thing uh, the library yeah it's not mine somebody made it and I just used it I found it after a lot of Google searching but thanks thanks to him he really saved my day and with that this is Sierra 21 Victor Mike 73.